Welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we are going to talk to you about how to attach an item to a mark record. So maybe you have a PDF from a local town meeting with the minutes from the meeting that you want to attach to it. Or maybe you have an image of something that's, um, you know, from a book or an article that you want to attach to a mark record itself. We're going to show you how to walk through setting up your settings and adding it in there. So easy, Jesse. It's so easy. I had no idea. Okay, so let's go. The first place we have to start is your frameworks, because there is something that we need to activate in a framework to allow that upload of that PDF or JPEG to happen to those mark records. So we'll head over to our Koha administration. If you have never gone into your frameworks before, we have other Monday minutes that we can attach to this blog post that will get you started. I'll make this change in the default framework. So I'm just gonna go over to my actions and go to mark structure. We are going to upload the files to the 856. So we're gonna head over to that tag I'm gonna just search for that tag because it's gonna be on page like 100. Go over here under actions and we're going to edit those subfields. Head over to the U, look at all the subfields that we have already set up. The very bottom under other options, you're gonna to want to use this drop down and find the option that says upload.pl. Now, what this will do is this will create a little tag editor next to your 856 subfield view that you can bring that you know, PDF or image directly into the record itself. It will create a unique URL for that. And Kelly's going to show us exactly where to do that now. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go ahead and um, we'll just attach it to, I don't know, something in our collection. What a tomato. Oh, heirloom. Wouldn't that be great if we had like a, a manual or like a PDF on how to use these heirloom tomato suits? We could imagine we were doing that. Or your seed library that you have available or a community garden. Exactly. Exactly. So if you had like community garden information, you wanted to connect or attach it to this. So your patrons could see it on the OPAC, download the PDF or what, what you want to include. Here's our record. We're going to go to edit, edit that record. And we are in a fast, we are in the wrong framework. So we're going to go ahead and change that. Never changed the framework. There you go. There you have it. We're going to go over to the 856. And now here you can see we have a new option that says upload. That does not appear unless you have that upload set up in your, um, framework. Then you just go ahead and grab that file off your computer. I'm using these board minutes, library board minutes. Gosh, the, the endless, endless. I appreciate all the seed libraries out there, you know, garden tools, they could have manuals yes. attached to it. If you're loaning out those hotspots, you could have manuals that somebody could like click and get that access. So exciting. Different zones. If you're planting, um, exactly. within the system, what zone you're part of, what, you know, what you can plant in different locations. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So now it's just saying, Hey, I've uploaded it. Your next option you have to do is you need to say, choose. So this is the last step sometimes forgotten about. Um, but there you go. You now have, as Jesse said, you're going to get a direct URL. So that URL is going to work to access that PDF. And now I'm going to hit save. Probably I'm going to have to update some things in my record because I switched it over. All the catalogers look away while I make things up here. <laughs> okay. Okay, we go. So now look at that. Now we have a new option here online now, but let's look at it in the OPAC because that's where your patrons may use it more. Look at this. Beautiful. And there's our, there's our imaginary seed directions, but that's, that's really a fantastic way. I mean, we just gave you like 500 options on how you can grab PDF, 
something to attach to a record for your users or for your staff. You can even use this internally. It doesn't necessarily have to go out to the OPAC. You can suppress this bib and still use this PDF attachment. Yeah, and this is great. Now, if you are thinking about all of the wild things you can do, and um, if you're doing this in a, a larger capacity, um, shoot us a ticket, make sure that things are set up properly on your back end, that it can accommodate that. Um, if you create a lot of these uploads, it could, um, you know, we want to just make your, sure you're doing it in the right process. So um, this is great. And we can't wait to see how people are going to use this. I know, please let us know. This is exciting. So again, this is just an opportunity to, you know, put more resources out there for your patrons or for your staff. So enjoy. Have a great week. Have a great week.